commissioning the DALI bus. Let's proceed to the commissioning tool of the DALI gateway. The only additional preparation is to assign the physical address to the DALI gateway before we start. The reason? The live commissioning tool builds up a serial communication to the DALI bus devices through the DALI gateway, but does not program the gateway itself. So, when we open this page, we must check if it really goes online. Only in this case it is possible to carry out the following procedures. This procedure can be split into four different tasks for a twin gateway. The discovery and assignments of all ECGs per each channel and the same for the sensors also for each channel. In our sample we have six ECG and one push button interface 4 gang on channel A. If some of the lights are on, you must at first turn them off using the All ECG Off button. If you already have made previous assignments and want to begin from scratch again, make sure to delete them using this key Settings. Reset current settings. It will remove all assignments between projected ECGs and short addresses in the currently open commissioning window. Make sure to have set the automatic commissioning mode. We start the ECG discovery run with the search button. After a while the program has found the ballasts which are now listed on the right side. If you have a close watch on the status line on the bottom left side, you can see the steps performed by the addressing program. The procedure which has happened in the background was, at first the DALI bus is scanned for valid short addresses on ECGs. If some are found, they are checked if they are unique. Then all other ECGs are triggered to randomize a long address, which is required to assign a short address in turn. If colliding addresses are detected, the program tries to resolve the problem by running a second randomizing lab. If it also doesn't run the second time, the problematic hardware must be replaced. During this procedure, the program also retrieves the ECG's properties like device types, minimum dimming level, brand, CIN, etc. Now the found ECG must be assigned to the engineered ECG on the left. For this job the lamps must be powered, because the usual way of commissioning is to allocate the ECG by flashing their lamps. That means you mark one on the right column, look which lamp is flashing and drag it then over to the matching ECG. In the automatic mode, the flashing of this lamp ends with choosing the next ECG from the found list. The option Add Automatically means that you can work the other way round. You have no predefined ECGs but you create them right in this moment. Then of course you have to go back to the channel's ECG list to assign them to the groups. Very important! If you aren't able to perform the commissioning for a DALI line in one run, always make sure that previously commissioned ballasts are on power when you extend the line later. Otherwise, the discovery algorithm will reassign the short addresses of the not found devices to the new ballasts, causing colliding short addresses in this way.